Hi, I'm Miss Nora Jane. This is the drama part of Bible School. Every day we will be doing a story that comes from the Bible and it will be acted out by some of our youth. You may recognize the stories or they may be new to you. Have you ever heard of a sickness called leprosy? We're going to talk about that in our first story today. It was around in Jesus' time and it's still around today, but it's very, very rare today. In Jesus' time, they thought it was very contagious and they made people leave their cities and go out and live off by themselves. You couldn't touch them because they thought they would get it if they, you touched them or if you even walked by them for a second. It was a very sad existence for the lepers. It was even called a leper's colony where they lived. Today, we know that we can have medicine and it's not so contagious and hardly anybody gets it in America even or really anywhere in the world. But back then, no one came close to them and they were most sad because they never got touched. Can you imagine never getting touched? Never getting hugged by anyone ever? It was a really sad existence for them. Today we're gonna have a skit that's set in a village. There is a leper. Watch and see how Jesus approaches the leper. He's coming this way. My neighbor said so and believe me, my neighbor knows everything about everyone. Who's coming this way? Jesus? The healer? They say he can cast out evil spirits. That would be a miracle. Did, did you say miracle? Did you say someone's coming this way who can heal? Oh! A leper! Oh, get away! Oh, how terrible. You're covered with leprosy. Get away. There ought to be a law. There is a law. He's supposed to stay with people of his own kind and announce himself in public situations. What's he doing? Trying to get us sick? Despicable. Unclean, unclean, unclean. But, but, but you said there was a healer. He won't heal you. It'll take a miracle to heal you. He can't heal you. Only God can heal you. Maybe. Unclean, unclean, unclean. That's what they call me. They say, don't touch me and get away. And they call me unclean, but that's not my name. I have a name my parents gave me. My parents, well, they're a vague memory now, but when they were around, I remember they couldn't touch me. I never had a mother that could hug me or a, a father that could pat me on the back. I had a dream the other night and my mother was there and she hugged me so tight and I said, I love you. And she said, I love you. And we were hugging so tight. But then I started shaking and I woke up and saw my friend's face a friend that I live with who also has leprosy. And then I remembered the terrible existence that I'm living in. You know, they say the healer's coming. They say he does miracles. But he couldn't heal you, they say. But they say he does miracles. It's Jesus! That's him! Maybe we can ask for a miracle. Yeah, let's pick something really impossible. Impossible? Jesus? He's unclean! Don't touch him! There's a law against his kind. He has to announce himself. He's unclean. Jesus, if you are willing, will you make me clean? I am willing. Be clean. You are touching me. No one ever touches me, but, but you just did. I'm... I'm clean! I'm clean! I'm clean! I'm clean! But don't tell anyone. Instead, go to the priests. Offer the sacrifice commanded by Moses, so everyone will have proof. But don't tell anyone. He healed me! I'm clean! I'm going home! Woo! He was a leper. You touched him. You healed him? Only God could do that. Maybe... So, that was a kind of sad story. The lepers led a very sad life, didn't they? Do you think it was God that healed that leper? They said, maybe. It was Jesus, but he was being God's hands. It was God that healed the leper. And that's all in those days that could heal the leper because they didn't have the medicines. How did you feel for that leper? I wonder how long it had been since he had been touched. He was really thrilled when Jesus touched him. I could tell that. I have some questions for you. When Jesus said to the man, be made clean, he touched him. Do you think he did that because he wanted others to see that they weren't so bad, that they shouldn't really be outcasts, that you should still show empathy for them and love for them 
at least even maybe from afar, but you should still be kind to them. How do you think the man felt when he had to leave his family? He talked about it, hadn't been with them for a long, long time. Seemed very, very sad. Jesus healed other people in the Bible too. And today we have people that maybe get things that are contagious and we don't want to be around them. Maybe even you've had those. Poison ivy, people are scared they might get that. Maybe chicken pox, people get away from you on that because they go, I don't want to itch, I don't want those red spots on me. And that probably doesn't make you feel very good, even though you understand it and you know you're going to get better and you know you can go back with your friends. It's still not a very fun feeling to feel like an outcast, is it? And that's what the lepers were in these stories. We still have outcasts today, people that others aren't very nice to, for really no reason sometimes. As Christians, we need to realize that and make everyone feel welcome at church, at school, as our friend. We don't want to put people out in an outcast and make them feel bad. We want this story to remind you that Jesus is always with you. When you're sick, definitely you can pray to him and others can pray for you when you're sick to ask Jesus to heal you or just make you feel better. We want you to know that Jesus is there in the good times and in the bad. Right now, we have a disease in our midst, don't we? The whole pandemic with the coronavirus, COVID-19. We've all had to be shut in, kind of like outcasts. At least we were around our own families in our homes. But it wasn't very fun, and it probably made you uncomfortable that you couldn't be around your friends. And once you start going out, maybe you still get nervous about being around people. Maybe your parents tell you, come over here, stay with us. It's a scary time. But we want you to know during this time and in all the good times, God is with us. He's your friend. Have a relationship with him.